Um, this is the Session 7. I can't believe it. Can you believe this? So this time last week, last Friday, I was, I was already home from the surgery, from uh, open myomectomy and endometriosis excision surgery. So I can't believe that. Yeah, I went home the same day. So typically, um, most women who have open abdominal uh, incision myomectomy usually stay in the hospital for at least a night, um, sometimes even two or three nights, just depending on how well the pain is managed, um, depending on you know just how well they're doing. So I actually, when I booked this surgery, I spoke to my doctor and I said, you know, look, I don't want to be in the hospital any longer than normal. And of course, with COVID going on and, and just, I just am not a big fan of hospitals in general anyway. Um, I would rather be home in my nice comfy bed. It's a nice comfy bed. Um, so, and she was fine with that. She said, as long as you can go up, uh, get up and walk around and pee, you can go home. That's totally fine. So, um, you know, I prepped so much for this surgery. I prepped so much for the before and the after and the recovery and, and all of that. And so, um, you know, I made sure, and I've told you this already before, but I made sure that my body was in tip top shape um, so that I did, so that I would have a really good recovery period. And so, um, you know, I did my yoga and I exercised and, you know, I, we'll talk more about what exactly I did um, later but I did my supplements and I ate clean and I just took really good care of my body. So when I came out of the surgery, um, I was doing really well. And I told them ahead of time, I said, I don't want to, um, I don't want too many narcotics IV after the surgery. I want to be of sound mind. I want to know what's going on. Um, you know, cause a lot of times they give you morphine, uh, intravenously, which I was like, nope not doing it. I don't care. I'll deal with the pain. It's fine with me. Um, I just want to be able to go home. So we, I got out of the surgery and it seemed really fast. I have to ask my friend Tina, but it seemed like within 20 or 30 minutes, the nurse was asking me if I was ready to go home. And I was like, yep, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Uh, she gave me some IV Dilaudid, uh, because you know, there's some pain there and there's a lot of pain there. And um, so I did get a, a shot of that, but um, I was able to get up, walk to the restroom, and this is like maybe an hour out of surgery. Walk to the restroom, um, go pee, which took a little bit of time. I think my friend Tina said maybe like 20 or 30 minutes because your organs are just like blah. And plus uh, during this kind of surgery, they have to uh, expand your bladder with gas. They put gas into your bladder, expand it like a balloon. So, you know, when it kind of deflates back down, it's just like, doesn't know what to do. Plus I had this massive thing in my, in my abdomen, in my pelvis that was like sitting on my bladder for years. And so my bladder was just kind of like, wait, what is going on? I have all this space. And so the muscle um, took a little time to, to figure out what to do. But I had my friend Tina run some water and that uh, is what I do for a lot of postpartum uh, women, postpartum as well. It helps to run water if you need to go pee. And I remembered, I need, I need to write that down because um, if you put some peppermint, a few drops of peppermint in the toilet, it actually like tingles your urethra and it helps you go to the bathroom. It helps you urinate. So I did and then um, I, the nurse did some discharge stuff and uh, wheeled me outside. Tina got me in the car and we drove home it felt like a 45 minute maybe an hour drive home so this time last week i was already here comfy in my bed um recovery has been amazing it's been so good i'm so proud of myself i'm so proud of my body um and it just goes to show like what preparation uh preparing your body can do um there's really been like in the beginning there was a lot of pain um, everything felt so sore. My stomach was so huge. It's still really swollen. Um, it was so huge though with, with all of the gas and the swelling and my organs were like just trying to find their way back to where they belong after removing that huge mass. And um, so I felt a lot of pressure, a lot of pelvic pressure, a lot of vaginal pressure. I mean, just pressure everywhere. And uh, you know, it did feel like the incision would just 
pop open if I made the wrong move. So there was a lot of pain in the beginning. Um, so I, I did use uh, the pain medicine that the doctor prescribed for me. Um, but you know, in the last couple of days, there hasn't been an awful lot of pain. Now, every once in a while, I'll get these really weird twinges and my uterus has started to contract a little bit because it's trying to get smaller and, and, you know, make its way back behind my pubic bone. Eventually it's not going to be there for, for probably six months or so. Um, but it's contracting. I can feel it contracting too and stuff. Um, which, you know, it's all, everything together is a very interesting feeling. So, um, you know, I did use some of the pain pills. She didn't give me very many, which, um, which is fine because I, I didn't plan on using them for very long. And, um, I did use in between the, um, the other lighter, uh, pain pill, which is similar to ibuprofen, like I said before. So, um, I've just been spending a lot of my time here in the bedroom, um, working on things, journaling, like look at my journal. It's crazy. I've been journaling like crazy. Um, just everything that I've been doing and everything that's been happening. So I have so much more to tell you. I'm just making this kind of a short video for now, but it's been good. I've been eating so well, taking good care of myself. People are taking great care of me. I am so, so grateful for the people that I have here helping me. My mom is here with me now. Um, my friend Tina was with me for three or four days, uh, full days. She just kind of, she just dropped her whole life and her family and her kids and everything. And she just came over here to take care of me. And I could never be more grateful. Um, my mom is here. My sister stopped by. I'm hearing from all kinds of family and friends that I love. And I'm so glad to hear from you. So please drop me a line. Um, I love chatting while I'm sitting here. Um, and I'm reading and uh, we watch some TV and um, I'm keeping myself really busy. I haven't been sleeping a lot. I've only been sleeping like four hours a day. I don't know what the deal is. And uh, it's interesting. My brother noted something because he had surgery not that long ago. And he said, um, you know, your body is just waking you up just to check in, make sure everything's okay. Um, and then, you know, go back to sleep. So I'm sleeping like two hour stretches at a time. I slept from like five to or four to seven last night. And then I fell asleep like 745 in the morning till like 945 in the morning. Um, and I haven't had a nap yet today, but I'm up showering. I need some help, you know, um, but I did most of it by myself today because I was exhausted. And, um, you know, I was able to get into the shower the first day post-op right after we came home. The day after we came home, my friend got me in the shower. And then the day after that, um, she helped me wash my hair. And I have like a handheld shower um, head. So that was really easy, but I used the yoga ball to shower with. So I sat down on the yoga ball while she kind of showered me off and helped me wash my body. So um, that's really helpful. And um, I've been eating really clean stuff like uh, the baby food pouches I told you about and uh, chicken, I had curry chicken um, uh, my friend made for me, it was amazing. Um, I, made, I had uh, sweet potatoes and quinoa. Every day I've been having a snack of celery and apples um, and peanut butter. This morning I had watermelon and honeydew melon. Um, so I'm eating really super clean, nothing processed, nothing fried, nothing, uh, most is organic. Um, no dairy, no wheat, no gluten, um, no sugar. So I'm eating like minimal, minimal um, anything that's not clean, if at all. Actually, I can't think of anything that I eat that's not clean. So um, that's been really good. Bowel movements have been great. Um, for anyone who is having the surgery coming up, I have some really great ideas for you when it comes to the GI tract and uh, the discomfort that comes along with surgery with that. Um, the supplements have been helping me immensely. I mean, I feel I feel like a new person. I'm so grateful for this surgery and that um, I actually had it done and for my doctor. And if you all watched the very first video uh, in this vlog series, um, you will see like how nervous I was about it and how I was just going back and forth. And I went back and forth for many, many years, but I am so happy that I did this. And I'm not even seeing like the real, real physical benefits yet, but I'm seeing mental benefits. Like I feel like a new person. I mean, I got rid of all of that garbage that I, I had identified me for so long, for decades, and it's gone. Um, 
and I feel amazing. I do feel lighter. I feel so much lighter. I mean, that was pounds, eight pounds almost of, of fibroids and stuff. Um, I can feel the blood flow to the rest of my body because these massive fibroids, they have big blood supplies, uh, arterial blood supplies, and they take that blood flow away from you. It causes hair loss. It causes uh, brittle fingernails. It causes anemia. It causes, um, you know, iron deficiency and B vitamins deficiencies and, um, lack of energy. I mean, I was just talking to my mom today about the lack of energy that I had for such a long time. Like, I don't know how I continued on living a normal life, um, with that. And it wasn't a normal life, honestly, but, um, but yeah, the recovery has been so good. Um, I've been up and around going to the kitchen. Um, I can walk pretty well by myself now, but I hold on to things like I hold on to the table and hold on to the dresser. Um, I can get myself up out of bed. It takes a little bit, um, of time to do so and it takes a lot of leg strength so thank goodness I strengthened my legs before this um I'm doing really really well all that gas that I told you about is pretty much gone so I think most of the the large belly is still a lot of swelling um my doctor sent me a photo of the fibroid omg you guys this thing was a monster it looks like an alien and there's three little ones so I'm gonna at the end of this video I'm gonna post a photo so be warned at the end of this video you will see a photo of the actual fibroids that were removed from my uterus there's three little ones and there's the big massive one and to put it into perspective the three little ones are kind of like the size of plums um, if you're a midwife or you're a doula and you know what a placenta container looks like, my doctor said that it's in a placenta container. So that's the size, it's like the size of a placenta, the width. Um, and if you're not just the, for perspective, the little ones are like the size of plums. So the, the big one is just massive. And that was in my body and that was growing in my body. And I know so much of it was from stress. So much of it was from, um, hormones and, you know, I did take good care of my body for the most part, um, you know, but I'm like everybody else and I went back and forth and, uh, you know, I, I did for a year at least when I found out about the fibroid, I went on a super clean diet. Um, I took all the supplements I was supposed to take. I tried to flush my body of the estrogen. I help, tried to help my liver um, metabolize the estrogen and this thing grew. This thing doubled in size in three years. So, you know, I'm not so sure about, uh, you know, people saying that fibroids can be shrunk with natural remedies because I'm proof that it probably can't be done. Um, so as much as I, I'm not a big fan of surgery, I, I don't want everybody to have surgery, that's for sure. But sometimes that's the answer. And I, I keep saying I wish I had done it sooner. But I also think to myself, like, this was the perfect timing. I needed to have this doctor and I needed it all to be perfect. I needed my body to be in perfect shape. I needed to properly prepare. It just needed to be the right time. So, and I would love to help you be able to figure that out. You know, also, if this is something that you're thinking about, if you do suffer from, from fibroids or endometriosis, you know, that's something that I can help you figure out too. So you should get in touch with me a hundred percent. Um, so we can talk about, you know, is surgery right for you? What questions should you ask your doctor? And if you do decide to do it, I can help you prepare for it. And, and that's, I just want everybody to be able to have this wonderful experience that I had. Um, it just, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I was so scared of it ahead of time. I had so much anxiety. I was so worried about it. And it just, I didn't need to be. But you don't know that until you actually go through it. You know, you just don't. That's just the way it is. I mean, sometimes we just have to have experiences. But to have somebody there with you who has been through it will be incredibly helpful um, to help you prepare, to help you get ready to help you, um, you know, buy everything you need to buy and to prepare your body to, to have an excellent recovery period. Um, so I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy about how it's going. I thought that by a week post-op, I'd probably be doing a little more. Um, but that's okay. I have all of this time. 
Um, I have five more weeks. I'm not going to be sitting in the bed for the next five weeks. That's for sure. Um, but I have five more weeks to like get so much done. And I've been doing so much reflecting and I'm just telling you, like, if you have these problems and you have this surgery, you're going to feel like a new person immediately before you even see all of the physical, um, benefits from the surgery. So yeah, things have been good. And again, I'm so grateful to all of you who send out prayers and who continue to send me healing vibes. Um, it's been awesome. The incision is beautiful. It's amazing. Like it's perfect. This, I mean, my doctor's amazing. Um, and, and I am too for taking good care of my body as well so that I'm here healing so well. Um, tons of fluids, tons and tons of fluids. I'm peeing like every hour, which is kind of a pain because by the end of the night, I'm really tired. Um, it, it exhausts me to get up and move around a lot. It, it, I get a little bit out of breath if I'm up for too long. Um, you know, I just, I get really tired really easily and that's totally to be expected. Um, so, you know, getting up to go to the bathroom every hour is like, blah. So I usually stop drinking a lot of water at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So I'm not going constantly. Um, I've had the bed to myself <laughs> the entire time. Well, Tina slept with me two nights um, because I did need, I did need her to be in here with me because I, I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself. Um, but for the most part, I've had the bed to myself because as you can see, the back is up. If you can get an adjustable bed, if you're having this surgery, oh my gosh, you need to do it. But anyway, uh, Jason can't sleep with the back up like this. Um, so yeah, so I have my setup over here going on. I've got all my stuff. I've got, you know, my uh, lavender diffusing and it's just, you know, I've got a great thing going on here and I, I'm planning on just continuing with this amazing recovery period. I go to see my doctor next Wednesday um, and she'll tell me, you know, if I can drive or um, how, if I should need a longer recovery period or what. But as of right now, she said um, no doing anything at all for four weeks. Like basically just this is where I should hang out for four weeks. Um, about six weeks until the incision is like completely healed. Uh, six months before everything on the inside is completely healed. And, um, and sometimes it takes up to a year to get back to like normal, total normal, total normalcy, um, with yoga and exercise and stuff, which I really do miss yoga, but, um, I'm starting to think about and, and read about, you know, uh, what types of things I can do after about six weeks, but I'm not going to push it. I didn't go through all of this to, to push it and ruin it. That's for sure. So remember that because I do feel good and I feel like I could totally get up and run around and do yoga and clean the house and all this stuff, but I know I can't, I know I can't. So if you're having this surgery done or you had it done or you're post-op, don't push your body. It is so important for us to listen to our bodies. I mean, they're wise. They're very, very wise. Um, so that's that, that's what's going on. And that's been my recovery for the past week. Um, stick with me here. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, press like, hit the bell. You don't want to miss it, um, especially if you have this surgery coming up or you're thinking about having this surgery. I want you to get in touch with me and I want you to watch these videos because I'm giving a lot of great information from my experience directly. Um, and I think it's I think it's going to be really helpful for you. So that's that. That's um, the past week of open myomectomy and endometriosis excision surgery. Uh, recovery. So I'm going to be back here really soon. I just, I haven't been able to do a lot of videos because the days are like flying by somehow. And I think a lot of it is getting up and going to the bathroom. <laughs> I still can't laugh very well. You can't use your ab muscles for anything. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. The days are flying by. I think I'm going to try and take a nap. I don't do very well with daytime naps, but I'm feeling tired today. I did a lot. Um, I, I showed my mom where to put clothes away in my dresser drawers and I folded some underwear while I was sitting on the bed and I took a shower and uh, I went to the kitchen and I'm, I'm feeling pretty pooped at this point. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and share this so that other women who might be having the same experiences can, um, can watch these videos too. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.